Nick, this has been a very exciting place for neuroscience now for many years, and we have been on the very cutting edge at a number of times when the field has taken an unexpected turn. We have terrific people here now, but I'm wondering as we look ahead, because it's so unpredictable, how can we continue to position UC San Diego to be the leader out there to take advantage of the next big breakthrough as it's happening, maybe even a little ahead of it happening? What, how That's do a you great see question, here? Darwin. Yeah, this is a very exciting and I would say powerfully energizing uh, time for UC San Diego and neuroscience. Uh, um, I, in part, I think this flows from our history, brief though it is. Uh, uh, in the early days when you and I came out here, we were in part, I think, attracted by the likes of Ted Bullock, uh, uh, Bob Galambos, um, uh, Bob Livingston. These were giants in the field at that time. They were first on the ground here, neuroscientists at La Jolla in UC San Diego. Uh, and they sort of set, set the trajectory uh, for us. And we all aspired to be great at that level and, and worked hard to achieve uh, some of those goals. Uh, and so over the years, we've built and built and built and acquired, as you describe, um, extraordinary faculty, uh, extending far beyond formal neurosciences into psychology, cognitive sciences, many other uh, departments and fields. Uh, and we've got uh, research labs here that are, that are poised to, to make very interesting discoveries. UC San Diego faculty were critically involved in uh, launching the uh, uh, federal brain initiative. Uh, Ralph Greenspan, uh, Terry Sejnowski, uh, uh, others from other campuses here in California were a part of the group uh, that under the sponsorship of the Kavli Foundation really pushed this forward, got the Office of Science and Technology Policy in Washington pushing on the president to take advantage of this. And then uh, here in the state, uh, uh, Ralph Greenspan, with, with some help from others of us, uh, uh, pushed on the legislature up there in Sacramento to get the Cal Brain Initiative uh, uh, off the ground. And, and here locally, <laughs> Pradeep Kosala, our chancellor, uh, pushed to launch the Center for Brain Activity Mapping. I remember Ralph and I were sitting in a hotel in Washington on the eve of the announcement of the Federal Brain Initiative, and Pradeep uh, was there, and he said, you know, guys, I, I want to establish a center to get brain activity mapping going on the uh, uh, campus back in La Jolla. We thought, fantastic. Six weeks later, it was done. Uh, so amazing uh, progress, real energy here to, to get these things going. Uh, so when we look to the future uh, and what can happen here, I'm reminded of the power of the uh, discovery of new tools uh, to advance science. So one remembers that Galileo is credited with inventing the telescope and very quickly we understood how the solar system was working. And, and uh, Antony van Leeuwenhoek in, uh, is credited with inventing the microscope and boom, now we understood how those little microbes are floating around in the mm. dish. Uh, uh, so new tools are inevitably going to generate powerful new discoveries. Uh, the, uh, right here on the campus now, uh, friends at the Jacobs School of Engineering are partnering with uh, colleagues in neurosciences uh, to uh, develop new tools, test those new tools, develop new understanding of the brain. So I think it's, it's difficult to predict in absolute detail where the big breakthroughs will come, but I am convinced completely that this will be the place uh, for very exciting breakthroughs, new understanding of the way the nervous system functions and how we can address the disorders of the nervous system when things don't go uh, completely right. Uh, so it's a, it's a wonderful time uh, to be involved and invested in neuroscience in uh, UC San Diego. Absolutely. Terrific. Well, well put.